eight African leaders who were assassinated while still in office. Number one is Patrice Lumumba of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Patrice Lumumba was announced the Prime Minister in June 1961 at the age of 34. His regime was plagued by the Congo crisis, which included mutiny in the army, the cessation of important mineral-rich regions, Katanga and South Kasai with the support of the Belgium, rebellion in some parts of the country, and inter-ethnic fights. After failing to get the support of the US and the UN in fighting the secession, Lumumba turned to the Soviets, a cardinal scene in the era of the Cold War. This led to division within his government and his subsequent deposition by the army chief, Joseph Mobutu Seseko. Tris Lumumba was executed by firing squad on January 17, 1961. Number two is Sir Abubakar Tafawa Balewa of Nigeria in 1966. Balewa's reign as the Prime Minister of Nigeria was accompanied with regional factionalism especially from the West, electoral violence, and political and ethnic unrest giving his government a hard time. On 15 January 1966, a group of officers struck against the political class, assassinating prominent politicians, and Sir Tafawa Balewa was at the top of the hit list. He was abducted from his official residence on 15 January 1966 and was missing for days. Many historical accounts hold that his body was found days later on the outskirts of Lagos, Bulletridden, and at an advanced stage of decomposition. His remains were laid to rest in Bauchi. At number three is Marian Ngoubi of Republic of Congo in 1977. As head of the National Revolutionary Council, Marian Ngoubi came to power when his party became the country's supreme authority in December 1968. He established the continent's first Marxist-Leninist state and founded the Congolese Workers' Party as the sole legal political party. Unfortunately, in March 1977, he was assassinated in a suicide mission. Number four is Mohammed Anwar al-Sadat of Egypt in 1981. Sadat was a man of oratory, charm, style and swagger with the knack of taking risks, even with the possibility of potential political cost. He was assassinated at a military parade in 1981 by a group of officers who were discontent about the peace deal with Israel, the worsening economy, and the imprisonment of opposition figures, among other things. Number five is Samuel Doe of Liberia in 1990. Doe became the 21st president of Liberia in 1980, serving as the first indigenous head of state in the country's history. In 1989, the Liberian civil war broke out after rebels led by a former ally Charles Taylor entered the country through Côte d'Ivoire and captured Doe in a guerrilla war. Samuel Doe was captured after a bloody gun battle in Monorovia, the capital city of Liberia. He was tortured by the rebels before being executed. Number 6 is Juvenal Habiarimana of Rwanda and Sipian Tariamira of Burundi in 1994. On the evening of 6th April 1994, a Dassault Falcon 50 aeroplane was shot down as it approached Kigali International Airport for a stopover en route to Bujumbura, Burundi. In the flight were Rwandan President Juvenal Habiarimana and Burundian President Sipian Tariamira. Habiarimana's death sparked off the Rwandan genocide of 1994, which saw almost a million Tutsi and moderate Hutus massacred to death within a space of four months. At number 7 is Thomas Sankara of Burkina Faso in 1987. Thomas Sankara seized power in a popular coup in 1983 in an attempt to break the country's ties to its French colonial power. He gave the country its new name Burkina Faso, formerly known as Upper Volta. Sankara had an ambitious agenda to eliminate corruption and encourage economic and social progress, but this resulted in an increasingly authoritarian approach to power. Though he remained an icon for the poor, his policies aggravated the middle class as well as the traditional tribal leaders. He was overthrown and assassinated in a coup led by the French-backed Blaise Compaoré in October 1987. Finally, number 8 is Laurent Kabila of the Democratic Republic of Congo in 2001. Laurent Kabila took power in the DRC in 1997 after overthrowing Mobutu Seseko. He served for four years before being shot in January 2001 by one of his bodyguards. According to some DRC officials, the assassination was masterminded by Rwanda, though 11 Lebanese nationals were executed shortly after the event. Kabila's party managed to retain power, and Laurette's son, Joseph Kabila, succeeded his father eight days later.